This week, students from all over the nation have come to Washington, D.C. to participate in the Bill of Rights Institute's 2016 Constitutional Academy. My name is Brian McCann and I'm from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. My name is Nick Hinman. I'm from Olathe, Kansas. I am from the suburbs of Salt Lake City, Utah. And I'm from Topeka, Kansas. I'm from Wyoming. I'm from Nixon, Missouri. I am from Florida. As part of the Academy, students are immersing themselves in all the branches of our federal government. Constitutional Academy has been incredible. It was, I've never been to D.C. before, so it was an awesome trip and an awesome campus. And I've never had such receptive teachers before who just moved so much with the student body and understood what we wanted when we came into this week. And I learned a ton, more than I have in my entire school year. An incredible um, group of ideologies and people who have these amazing thoughts on what America is and what the Constitution really means and the Declaration of Independence. We have 60 students here at the Bill of Rights Institute this week for Constitutional Academy. They will be learning everything from the citizenship in the digital age to criminal justice reform to free speech. We will hear from experts from all across the country, from our military to our lawyers to experts that are here within the government in D.C. I've met a lot of really unique individuals with amazing outlooks on life that I might not have considered had I just stayed at home in Kansas. So it's really been kind of like a life building moment. It's meant so much to me to be in Washington DC, kind of like the birthplace of our country where we are able to tour and see the things that really mean a lot to America because from where I'm from, we don't see that very much. High school kids from all across the country, uh, just super, uh, super passionate about you know, the foundations of American society and the foundations of free society. Uh, it's just been so awesome to just kind of see their eyes light up everywhere we go. Um, we're only a couple days in right now and you can just see the fire inside all of these kids and how passionate they are about the Articles of Freedom, um, the Declaration of Independence, the Constitution, the Bill of Rights. Constitutional Academy has just been an incredible experience. I still remember whenever I got that acceptance email that I nearly cried. I was just so excited. And this experience has just been absolutely phenomenal and really helping me challenge my beliefs and help me solidify what I want to do in the future. Students will be able to uh, debate different topics from immigration to criminal justice, uh, from free speech to the Second Amendment this week. My favorite part has been having like-minded people to discuss political topics with. Uh, it's not often that you see people at this level of political understanding to even be able to have a conversation with, let alone debate. I mean, uh, I think debating anybody against your position or researching the other side always broadens your understanding of the topic, regardless of what it is. As part of the week, students are visiting the museum, the archives, Arlington National Cemetery, and other famous sites throughout Washington, D.C. My favorite part about Constitutional Academy was probably our trip to the Capitol building because I'm kind of a politics nerd anyways. I spend most of my time being in the capital of Kansas at our Capitol building anyways. So seeing the kind of difference that there is and then meeting my own representative from the second district of Kansas was something like I had never been able to do before. Something that just took my whole like experience to the next level to be somebody in that office and to actually speak to somebody who holds what would be like considered one of my life goals. My favorite part about Constitutional Academy has probably been going to the museum on Tuesday. I know that I personally want to be an international or political journalist in the future and getting to see the exhibits, especially about Edward Murrow, who is my personal journalistic hero, has just been amazing. I was so, so excited to go and it was great. My favorite set that we visited had to been Arlington Cemetery. I have a family with a long line of military history. Seeing a place that meant so much to people in my family and so much to me was really cool. Arlington National Cemetery, I had to restrain myself from crying, actually, um, because my dad actually served in the Navy at age 17, and it just helped me think about all the reasons that we go to war and the freedoms we protect and the things that men and women sacrifice their lives for, and I just never put that into perspective before until walking through and touring Arlington National Cemetery and just seeing how much men and women have actually given up to serve our country and to protect my freedoms. Thank you so much to the Bill of Rights Institute. This was an awesome opportunity. Thank you, Bill of Rights Institute. Thank you, Bill of Rights Institute. Thank you so much, Bill of Rights Institute, for this opportunity, and please continue to do it for kids in the future so they have the same amazing opportunity. It's exciting to think that these, guys, these kids are the future. 